Real quick before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know about a little special order that is live right now within the headquarters over at Major Howard's. All you have to do is simply go over, activate it, and then go to the feeder. And you'll end up getting a supply drop and then 500 social score, but it's today only, so I'm going to let you guys know to take advantage of this while you can. It's in celebration of CWL Birmingham, but free social score and a supply drop, I don't think you can go wrong with that. And of course, if you guys really just want to skip through it, all you guys have to do is go to the theater, then immediately back out and it counts as watching content in the theater. So it's probably about 30 seconds of your time, but then a free supply drop and 500 social score to me, can't go wrong with that. So make sure you go check that out. It's live for the next however many hours whenever you watch this video, but make sure you go check that out in Major Howard's and take advantage of it while you can. So that said, back to the regular scheduled content. We first saw it in World War II on January 23rd when we had something of an extension of the basic building blocks of the game and the creative class system as a whole. Divisions was a system that replaced the pick 10 system in which we end up getting specific attributes for specific styles of play grouped in all within one division. And at the basic building blocks of World War II, we end up getting five divisions, that being airborne, infantry, armored expeditionary and mountain division but on january 23rd once again we saw our first extension of this and we got the release of the resistance division as that extension dlc this happened in conjunction with the resistance dlc map pack dropping a week later but the event the resistance starting on that same day so kind of all once again fluently flowing into the content stream of world war ii now, what if I told you that's actually not an isolated incident, and we may very well be getting a new division every single DLC? Because, thanks to the Reddit user lacking a good name, we actually have a lot of information on future DLC divisions that theoretically could bring us up to 9 or 10 divisions within Call of Duty World War II by the end of the game's life cycle. One for each DLC, and then there is one left over. So today we're going to be taking a look at these sort of things, breaking it down, and giving you guys all the information you need to know about these divisions. DLC divisions and what is known at the very moment. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. A forewarning for this, a lot of the stuff that we end up having doesn't have much allocated to it. What is interesting though is that one that may very well be dropped next week with DLC 2 is one that does have relative information around it. So it seemingly is the most complete out of all of these and therefore may very well be released once again at that timetable of DLC 2. So what we have on the table here for us was something stemming from a little bit of a leak that happened a couple of days ago. I didn't get around to talking about it here up on the channel, but it actually worked out nicely because then a few days later we got this information, but a few days ago we ended up getting the information of a division called Scout. Now from that initial leak and report, it was something in which somebody went into the game files and ended up finding three individual pieces relating to what is called a scout division. In these files, there were the PNG images for a uniform, a challenge, and then a level for a specific division. One being a division skill level in which that has displayed prominently a grease gun with a suppressor on it. Then we end up seeing a scout division challenge, and then also one that is a uniform that is called Axis Scout R1. And that was one that honestly might just be something that is dealing with the name and not the division, but the other two pieces definitely are something tied more so towards a division. And that brings us to yesterday. That's whenever we end up seeing this more larger scale leak for the game files and the assets in place and what very well may be the future divisions in Call of Duty World War II. So once again, lacking good name ended up bringing this up to which he ended up adding in his input saying that previous leak that we saw wasn't necessarily pertaining to the actual division scout, though it is real in the game files, but more so just things relative to the name. So in terms of which one it ends up being, we'll see in time, but the scout division is real along with a couple of others. And one big one that is supposedly releasing once again with DLC 2 is that of the Grenadier Division. So this is one that is rather interesting and we'll run down the information here for this, but it has two main primary abilities that you can end up getting here out of this. Score streak buffs, but also a rifle grenade launcher as well. So as for the score streak buffs and how that will work out, well, apparently it'll allow you to use a fourth score streak slot instead of just three. So if you have one that you really wanna put on, but you really like your three level setup that you have, this can be a nice little way to circumnavigate that issue. But on top 
top of having a fourth score streak slot, you also have Hardline, which if it's anything like Hardline in the previous titles of Call of Duty, that's gonna make your score streaks cost less and presumably work a little bit different with support and assault streaks due to how maybe requisitions works or something like that. But on the same point in time, there also is something mentioned in which there are checks for requisitions and for ordnance, which actually cannot let you stack those on top of each other. So interesting to see how that one will work out, especially with Hardline and everything like that. But if it actually ends up negating requisitions, I'd be totally cool with that. But as for other score streak information, apparently it also gives you a score streak buff as well. One thing that is detailed is that there is a fighter pilot modified speed, which might be a little bit lower so that you have a little bit more time to pinpoint where your enemies are and take them out as such. But then there also are placeholder buffs to every other streak that is present in the game. And that's one thing that I'm really curious about because we talked about the idea of score streaks getting buffed in World War II for a long time, to which Sledgehammer said they were looking into buffing score streaks. And since then, about a month to a month and a half, maybe even two months back now, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Since that time, we only have ever seen the paratroopers buff to which, as I described previously, they pretty much got an IQ buff in which they don't spawn with serrated and shovels and they don't try and shoot down enemy aircraft anymore. They simply try and go for kills. So that's the only thing that we've seen out of that entire score streak discussion that stemmed in the community months back. But this might be that answer to it, in which we end up seeing different score streak buffs allocated for a specific division in World War II, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, but it is an interesting way to implement these changes and to do it in a sense that we might not really see coming. So honestly, I'd love to get your thoughts in the comment section down below. Is that something you'd be okay with in the sense of how they end up approaching score streak buffs is by adding in an entirely different division to buff every single score streak? Personally, it's not exactly what I imagined would happen. I honestly just thought it would be something in which they actually buff them, like we saw the paratroopers, but I guess it's a little creative way. I just honestly don't know where I even sit on the fence with this one, whether I think it's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'd definitely be curious to know your thoughts. So not to break away from the regular content, I'm just genuinely curious. So drop your thoughts in the comments. But the other thing that was mentioned out of this Grenadier class setup and what fits the name a little bit more perfectly is the fact we'll get a rifle grenade launcher. So this was actually something that along with all this other information was added in during the Shamrock and Awe patch. And that was something in which we saw the rifle grenade added in to which some people might have caught this and then been like, why is this in here? We don't have a rifle grenade launcher in the game, but that might have been something once again, early on pointed to this division coming. So this is something that might concern some people. Some people might be okay with it. But again, when you hear a rifle grenade launcher or a grenade launcher of any type, you might immediately just jump back to the PTSD of Modern Warfare 2 One Man Army noob tubes. And if that's the case, rightfully so, because that's when they were incredibly prominent. But the nice thing about this statistically hard coded facts is the sense that these rifle grenade launchers will not be near as effective as what we saw in previous titles where other variations of the noob tubes or grenade launchers are in fact in place. Where it actually comes down to the hard-coded stats is that the impact damage is 120. And if you guys know how everything works, the damage needed to actually get a kill is 100. So of course, you do have the chance still of dying in one shot to this, but you have to bear in mind that's actually the impact damage. That has to be a direct impact that you hit them with the grenade, not the explosion. So that's one thing that it will be a one-hit kill, obviously, but you have to be pretty dang precise with that. As for the actual damage, well, it is a massive range in the damage. It goes all the way from a one shot with a damage of 110 on the explosion all the way down to a 25 so you can either do a lot of damage or very little damage depending on where you actually are in that damage radius which serves as 256 inches and in game that's a pretty wide spread so the nice part it seems like about this taking a look at the hard-coded stats is it's more so used as something to weaken opponents or to maybe stun them in the sense that you won't often get one shot kills seemingly with this but just think of it almost as if a stun grenade but doing damage depending on where you end up hitting it so I'm curious to see just how well in practicality this works out if it's something that ends up being used and potentially abused like it was in Modern Warfare 2 and everything like that. Hopefully not, but I guess only time will tell for that. 
That's the Grenadier Division, which may very well be launching alongside DLC 2 come April 10th. And again, this is not something that's going to be rolled out incrementally as if to wait a month. This will be available for everybody on April 10th if it does, in fact, drop. Once again, probably in conjunction with another event that launches up as well for that across the board for all platforms too. But on top of the Grenadier Division, this wasn't the only thing that the leak revealed. We also ended up seeing divisions called Commando, Scout, and an extra of Artillery. So if you want to take a look at when the release schedule for this might work out, Commando might be DLC 3, Scout might be DLC 4, and then potentially alongside whenever artillery might drop at some point in time as well. But unfortunately for us in the sake of trying to get a little bit more information out of this, Grenadier for DLC 2 is the only thing that actually had any information tied to it at the very moment. So this was brought up once again, there was an update for Shamrock and Awe. This is when this was added into the game code and therefore probably even extended upon in the game code during the lifespan of the event, but not public to everybody because we haven't seen an update yet for this. I'd presume that we can end up getting more information via data mining come Tuesday when the event ends up finishing up and we get either a hot fix or an actual update update for that. But at the time, Grenadier is the only thing that we have any information on, but we do have the names for the other divisions, that being Commando, Scout, and Artillery. As for their ETAs and what they hold, once again, that's for time to tell, but that's where we're going to wrap this one up because I find this stuff incredibly interesting and I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of a Grenadier division coming to World War II, potentially as soon as DLC 2 or maybe even sooner if we end up getting this event launching sometime in the next week or so before the DLC. What do you think of it? Do you think that you like the extra addition of a fourth score streak? Do you like hardline? Do you like the buff to score streaks? Do you like the rifle grenade? Whatever it may be, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below because, again, I wasn't really expecting this necessarily to come out and pan out as it did, but if this is in fact true, this could be a really interesting way to incorporate this. But again, let me get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below, but hopefully this was insightful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II content, anything regarding news, updates, best class setups, tips, tricks, information, all that good stuff. We get you covered here up on the channel, so if any of it interests you, make sure that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm trying to get more active over there as well, so that link is also in the description below if you guys want to toss a follow. But all that said, now that we hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. Take care and peace.